All right, hey guys, Psychotic Mammal here. Uh, I recently got invited to play the closed beta of Romero's Aftermath. Who's Romero? I don't know. I don't care. All I know is that this is the spiritual successor, or expansion pack, really, to the War Z, or as it's now known, at least, Infestation Survivor Stories? I don't know. I didn't buy it because I had a bad, bad experience with the closed beta of War Z. Uh, actually, I'll go over that right now since this game is pretty much the same. You see, War Z had great potential because, you know, zombie game, it was right out when uh, Daisy was getting big. Or actually, I think it was already, I don't know. Whatever, it was like Arma 2 Daisy, 4 Arma 3 came out and all that. And, you know, need competition, they they thought that War Z would be great, but then there was, which movie was that that came out? I forgot, but it was one of the zombie movies, and um, it had War Z, I don't even remember, I can't believe it. I saw this movie too, but whatever, they had a legal dispute where they changed the name from War Z to Infestation Survivor Stories, but anyway... The closed beta for War Z um, was plagued with hackers and cheaters and glitches and other crap that need to be fixed, which hopefully got ironed out. I'm not sure because I couldn't experience it because uh, along with all the hackers, there was a lot of uh, reports and bannings. But uh, you were, the the ban to hacker banning hacker to banning normal player ratio was like all fucked up like it was probably like one hacker was banned for every like 20 normal people banned for no apparent reason and uh, I was one of those people I remember uh, I was on my old computer so the game run like shit um, but you know uh, I, I tried to play it anyway and yeah just died flew up into the air or something and then uh, got banned so that was interesting so i do have a certain like hatred towards the war z slash infestation kind of not hatred i guess that's too strong a word but uh you know uh, it, it's uh been kind of shitty before so i'm not too uh excited for Al romero's aftermath and i i did play it before recording this is like the third time i played it just because uh, the first time I tried to play it, I bumped the settings up to Ultra, and then the game crashed. The second time I opened it up, I played it on Ultra, but then uh, your frame, well, my frames, let me put it this way, uh, dropped within about 20 minutes or so from 60 to 40. And then I noticed that my computer fans, because I have a water cooling computer now, the water cooling fans on uh on the radiator started to spin a lot faster and it was so I alt tabbed out read all my uh, readings and all that and uh, you know it was running kind of, it wasn't running really hot but it was, it was running kind of warm which is strange because this game runs on I think the exact same engine as War Z because the graphics look the exact same the HUD is the same pretty much everything in this game is the same even the little as you can see up here, the little, uh, the microtransactions are the same, you know. And that was probably one of the biggest problems with War Z, too, is microtransactions, especially since, um, I think you had to pay the game, pay to get it. Yeah, you did have to pay to get it when it was War Z, too. It was like 20 bucks, I think, and then you had to pay like $50 or so just to get some good gear, and then you didn't even keep that good gear when you died by hackers so you know it's weird but um yeah so uh i bumped my settings down again now i'm on medium i think sadly yeah which uh i'll probably put it in the description but i'm not running <laughs> i'm not running this game on my old computer like i actually have a pretty freaking good gaming computer now so it doesn't really make sense why I have to bump it down. Now, granted, this game doesn't look much better 
on <laughs> Ultra that it does on medium because this game just looks like crap. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a free-to-play game, but, you know, whatever. So, uh, yeah, let's jump right in. Let's uh, go on to this server. Hopefully it will be... Hopefully there will be some uh, player interaction and all that. Oh my goodness, where the fuck am I? This is not where I logged out at, but whatever. I'm close by, I think. Yeah, wow, I'm only getting 30 frames recording this. This peasantry. I feel like a console peasant. Jesus. Yeah, so this game, as you can see, is not the most aesthetically pleasing game. It really isn't. So that's why it's like, how is this game so unoptimized? I mean, but then again, this is the map. That's that's the map. Which, <laughs> um, I'm not sure how big it is. Oh my god, that map goes for a whole lot. But, <laughs> You know, I'm not sure how big that is compared to, say, Chernarsk or Chernigorsk or whatever. Is it? Yeah, Chernigorsk was the town, Chernarsk is the map. Okay. I, I know my daisy. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, you start out with a knife and some other stuff, and uh, the wood, the metal, the gun, the binoculars I've just found, which it does. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to close out my inventory. It does look like uh, in this game. You can actually find things a lot easier. Like, uh, it was only in the first five minutes I found this revolver and ammo for it, so um, maybe it's not as bad. But, uh, you know, we'll see how it is. Now, this looks like a more, uh, more viable weapon. You know, <laughs> huge frickin' lead pipe with all these nails and barbed wire on it. So I'm gonna go into the over there, see what I can find. I cannot build. Oh, so the, yeah, this game doesn't build. Really. But I am gonna look through my binoculars. Excuse me. Uh, I wonder if you can climb up on those. That would be great. Oh, oh no! Please don't. Please don't do that. No, 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 no. Get wrecked. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot easier to kill zombies with than the, uh, the flashlight of Wardsy or even the knife that you uh, get in this game. <laughs> now what they are going to have to fix for sure is this. This is ugly. Look at this. Grass coming up beneath the floor. I mean, I guess I... Uh, 556. I mean, yeah, maybe it's supposed to be coming through like this because it's, you know... The apocalypse or whatever, but there's a lot of good stuff to use for this. The uh, apocalypse, you know. Frag grenade, nice. Yeah, this game definitely gives you a lot more usable items. I want to say than the uh, the Warzy, just because I think like the only. <laughs> way you would have gotten like a grenade or even a semi-decent weapon, like a handgun I mean, was to go to the military bases if I'm correct. I'm not entirely sure though. Like I said, it was a long time. I think it was 2012. That sounds about right. That base was a thing. Uh, pop field was here, looks like. Even though that's some carrots. Huh? Oh, so, oh, wow. Holy crap, someone's got like a whole base up here. Got their flat screen. Got their stomach. Oh, KO peptate or whatever. Uh, no, peptabismal. That's what it is. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking of. What is this? Is that a rifle? Oh my god, it's a fucking. It's the freaking shotgun from Fallout. <laughs> oh my god. Fallout 4 confirmed. Oh, that's where you are. Okay. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Come on. 
that is, right? Stay down. <clears throat> Alright, what? Fireworks? That's awesome. Can we use a mess player? I wonder. Awesome? That would be so cool. Okay. Not while I'm in the safety. This can be salvaged or for useful chemical. Oh. So I can't can't light it off and then shoot it. Oh, that's kind of dumb. My idea was way better, in my opinion. This juicy apple. Uh rag bomb. Oh, I know what this can do. I'm just gonna unload. Oh. <laughs> well, then I'm gonna unload. No, I'm not gonna unload item. <laughs> Alright. Well, does it have any ammo in it then? I wonder. It does. That's awesome. It has like a drum man. Holy crap. Except, um. Uh oh. Why did he. Uh oh. Glitch. I think. This is not good. Oh no, no. Quick. There, I might stop it. That's not stopping it. Oh fuck. Oh. I broke the game. Apparently. Yeah. Okay, so that's a bug. Needs to be fixed. I guess that means I don't have any ammo because it says zero out of six. I'm not entirely sure. I probably. All right, guys. Richie's here now. Did they change the name from War Z? Yeah, they changed it to Invest Infestation Survivor Stories. Ah, uh, yeah. Because uh, trademark with that. Uh, actually, I was trying to. Trying to put that into the video, but I forgot the, the movie. What was that one movie with um, uh, Brad Pitt, the zombie? Uh, War Z. Well, World War Z? Z. World War Z. Oh yeah, World War Z. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, that's why they ran into the copyright. Changed the title. Well, yeah. what fucking scrubs running into copyright? Bye bye. Huh. I wonder if drinking drain cleaner will uh, heal you. <laughs> I remember Sam told me because you know I don't know much about like chemicals and shit, right? Right. So it was like a ninety-eight percent pure alcohol. Oh, and I, was, I just got shot in the face. <laughs> and I was like, I was starving to death, right? Or not yeah. starving to death, but uh, being thirsty. I was being a thirsty hoe. And I'm like, Sam, can you drink this? Is it possible? He's like, yeah, I guess it'd be possible. Like, but it was like 98% fucking alcohol, so of course it wasn't possible. Right. So I'm just there, and I'm like, Sam, why is my screen turning black? And he's like, um, it's probably just you getting drunk. And I'm like, yeah. And I just died. <laughs> it was my character that had like an AK, too, so it was um, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I just had a shotgun and everything, and then I went to go inspect... Uh the drain X or something, and then all of a sudden it's just BOOM! And then I just got shot in the face with a shotgun. <coughs> all I know is that I gotta switch to my secondary weapon because it's faster than reloading. Yes. Well, it looks like I lied earlier. They don't give you anything better. Um, I guess that was only because that was like my first spawn or something? I'm learning Russian from playing this game. I gotta go all the way back to fucking town. Get my shit. <laughs> Possibly kill that guy. The good thing about this game, though, compared to War Z and all that, though, I've noticed just now, is that uh, if you die, you don't have to wait like five hours for your com your uh, character to become conscious again. Oh. And it was like five actual real life hours. You just couldn't oh, play. That's generally not good. All right, yeah. So guys, that's the pretty much the end of the first look.
uh, this is afterwards with some gameplay in the background, you know how it is, many YouTubers do it, but, uh, so yeah, my, uh, first inside look at, uh, Romero's Aftermath is, uh, you know, it's interesting, it's definitely a project to follow, I think that instead of what happened to War Z and then eventually in Infestation Survivor Stories, this game actually has p potential. Um, it seems like they've tweaked a few things. I mean, they still have to work on a lot. Don't get me wrong. The um, microtransactions are still incredibly uh, disproportionate in my opinion, but then I'm kind of, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, the optimization is a big thing. I know uh, after I stopped recording, actually, uh, and I finally made it back to town from when I died, uh, there was, I was talking to some guys on there, uh, guys who had not as new computers as me, uh, they had to run it on low, and they still only got like 30 frames max, max, not even like 30 to 40 or whatever. Uh, they said that their mid-range like average was about 20 or so, so, I mean, that's not that great. I mean, yeah, okay, I can play it, but still, like, what's the point <laughs> if I'm the only one that can actually somewhat run it? And the thing is, I even have to run it on medium, which... Like I said before, put my specs in the description, um, and then you'll be able to see what I'm packing. And uh, also, I mean, check out, if you want, check out my Arma videos. Uh, I think they're in 60 frames. I'm not sure. I know my Euro Truck Simulator video is in 60 frames a second on high and everything. So, I mean, there's proof right there. <laughs> my computer can run almost every game uh, at 60 frames on ultra pretty much the only two games I've not been able to do it is this and uh, the forest which is strange too but you know whatever so um let's kind of wrap up yeah this game has potential uh, maybe if the developers don't screw it up like they did uh, the War Z, then maybe it will be the game that it was supposed to be originally, but, um, I mean, so far it's pretty much just like an, a big update to Infestation. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, what would I give this game out of a 10? As a free-to-play game? Definitely like, uh, like a 4 so far. <laughs> um, which is better than uh, War Z because my even though I never actually did upload my review for War Z my out of 10 score for War Z was just no no don't no just don't do it <laughs> like it was that bad and uh, this isn't that bad so you know yeah I'd, I'll give it four but now Saying that, if this was $20 or so, no. <laughs> it would be a no out of 10. <laughs> uh, I mean, until they actually fix it. Because, like, this game is so unoptimized. <laughs> and the graphics don't look that great. And it's kind of buggy. And things float in midair. And your shotgun reloads infinitely and microtransactions and hackers <laughs> and all that so yeah I hope you like this video if you do drop a like no I'm, I'm just kidding I don't care if you guys want to like it though like it if you want to favorite it favorite it and if you want to subscribe subscribe so uh, see you guys peace